What's up, YouTube? This is Immortality. I want to do a quick tutorial for acoustical mixcraft users on how to use outboard gear with your audio interface. I have the Behringer UMC 1820 audio interface, and it has um, a pretty good number of inputs and outputs. I like to use the warm audio bus compressor and the Art Pro VLA compressor. And pretty much the way I have it set up, I have the outputs three and four from my audio interface going to the inputs of the warm audio compressor. And so I have input, I mean, I have output number three going to the left input. And I have the output number four going to the right input of the warm audio bus compressor. And then I have the left output going to input number three on my audio interface. And I have the right output from the warm audio going to the input number four of my audio interface. And then for the Art Pro VLA compressor, I have outputs five and six going to the Art Pro and then have it routed back into the inputs five and six. So I have output number five going to the left input of the Art Pro. Then I have the um, I have output number six going to the right input of the Art Pro. And then I have the left output going to the fifth input of the audio interface and the right output from the Art Pro going to the sixth input um, on the audio interface. So it's, you know, it's pretty simple. And then now I'm going to show you how I route it within Mixcraft. And pretty much is very easy as long as you have um, an audio interface with a good bit of IO. I have a session open here and it's a pretty simple session. I have my beat here on track one. Um, and then I have a vocal bus that where I have the verse, the ad libs to the verse, and then I have the hook where I have it copied and pasted in each slot. You know, I still have to record a second and a third verse, but I thought that this would be a good, simple session to kind of show you, especially for hip hop artists. So, pretty much what you would do is you want to make sure you have an output track that you can route out through whatever outputs you want. And I've already done that. From here I have an output track that goes to my warm audio bus compressor. And what you want to do, you want to make sure that the output is set to whichever outputs you have going from your audio interface. So for instance, I have outputs three and four going to the left and right inputs of the warm audio bus compressor. And then what you do is you have your track that will serve as the return from your outboard gear. And here I named it warm audio return. And I have the outputs of the warm audio bus compressor going to inputs three and four on my audio interface and you see I have that selected here and I always make sure you select stereo so it's doing the left and right so then what you would do is all the tracks that you want to go out through that output bus to your out outboard gear you make sure you route those tracks to that particular output bus and so for instance I have the beat output set to the warm audio bus output and then the bus like each one of my vocal tracks are routed to my vocal bus that I have here and then I have the vocal bus routed to the warm audio output bus okay so now the vocal bus, the vocal bus and the beat are going out outputs three and four 
into the inputs of the warm audio bus compressor and then the outputs of the warm audio bus compressor are coming back in through inputs three and four which are routed to this red track here and basically what you want to do is you want to make sure on your audio interface that you have your monitoring set up to where you're monitoring only the input signal and you want to make sure that you're set to monitor in stereo so that you can hear your stereo image and here's the way I have it set up you know this is the way you do it for the Behringer UMC 1820 you know I have the knob turned all the way to end so that it's monitoring only the input signal not the playback signal and then the button here you make sure that you have it set to where it's monitoring in stereo as opposed to mono and that's pretty much the simple way to use Mixcraft to use your outboard gear I hope this video helped. Click the subscribe link at the bottom and also give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Alright, thank you. God bless.